So he's causing that much trouble, huh? <sighs> That's a shame. I thought this guy was different. I thought he was honest about his intentions. What I want you guys to do is teach him a lesson. Grab a couple of shovels and do your worst. Oh, baby doll. I didn't realize you were around. Hey, can you do me a favor and let me finish this call? It's, it's for business. What? No, I didn't say anything about shovels. I'm serious. I... Fine, fine. Forget about the shovels. Just rough him up real good for me. Yeah, I'm sure. Hey, do I pay you to ask questions? That's what I thought. Now get to it. Come on, doll. I told you to stay out of my work affairs. It's a big job, you know. I gotta make a lot of tough decisions and I'd rather you not get involved. <laughs> See, that's what I like about you. You're the only person willing to say no to me. It makes work a pain in the ass sometimes, but I suppose that's a small price to pay. You know, sometimes I can't tell if you're willing to stand up to me because you're brave or because you're stupid. Either way, I'm into it. <laughs> hey, I'm just joking around. You know I love you. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I had another client back out on me. Cowardly little shit tried to take the money and run, but he won't get far. We own this town. And we know where everyone is at at all times. <sighs> It's hard not to get upset with these kind of things, Angel. You know how much I hate cowards. They talk the talk, but when you actually go to challenge them, it's a shame, really. They could toughen up and learn some humility. A lot of cowards would make great business partners. <laughs> change is only possible for people who want to change, doll. I like the way you think, though. If I had it my way, I'd shape up every last one of these crooks. Baby doll, come sit on my lap. I want to tell you about something. Mm. You see, there are three types of criminals in this world. The first and most common type is the one who's forced into it for survival. I can't blame these people. It's not like they had much of a choice. I can even relate in a way. I was born into a mafia family and ain't nothing going to change that fact. Plus, they usually lay low and leave the criminal life behind once they're able to get back on their feet. It's just how I like it. They show up, do what they need to do, and leave. No argument, no backstabbing, no issues whatsoever. The next type of criminal is the vigilante. The one who realizes that the world is fucked and takes matters into their own hands. Now these guys I can respect. Sometimes you need to set the world on fire in order to force a change. And they ain't afraid to provide the kindling. In terms of business, they can be a little annoying to deal with. Each one has their own moral code. You've got to be sure not to break. But if you can do that, they make excellent clients. The last type of criminal is the one I deal with way too often. They ain't doing things for survival or for the benefit of others. They're just in it for themselves. I can't stand those pricks. They're usually rich, famous, influential. They already have it all, and yet they're looking for more. Makes me sick to my stomach. Greed is a disease. I'm disgusted every time I see it. <sighs> but 
you know, spending time with you. After a long day of dealing with trust fund babies and spineless politicians makes me feel so much better. <sighs> you have no idea the effects you have on me. <sighs> Which type of criminal am I? Well, I suppose you just have to answer that for yourself, won't you, Angel Faith? <laughs> hey now, you're a smart girl. I'm sure you can figure it out. Huh? What, what kind of question's that? It just came out of nowhere. I mean, two seconds ago we were talking about criminals, and and now you want to know what I think about when I look at you. Hey, I I never said I wasn't going to answer. I can't upset my baby doll now, can I? When I see you. When I look into your gorgeous eyes, I think a lot of things. First, it reminds me of when we first met. You were eating in that shitty pizza joint my family runs, and I was handling business in the back. It was a normal day until I came out and saw you. Now, I'm not one to believe in love at first sight, but... Damn. For weeks, I just couldn't get your gorgeous face out of my head. I started keeping a closer eye on the restaurant than usual, just waiting for the day when you'd return. And when you did, lucky for me, I didn't even have to strike up a conversation. You approached me first. <sighs> it's no secret that people are intimidated by me, even before they know about my family, so... Seeing you walk right up to me proved right then and there that you ain't a coward. I like that in a woman. I like it a lot. I also think about the time when you first met my family. Again, they all carry a certain aura about them. They're not easily approachable, yet you stood tall, even when my old man was grilling you for information. <laughs> can be a real pain in the ass sometimes, but he also wants what's best for the family. He wanted to test your guts, and you passed. Congratulations. The next moment that comes to mind is when I finally told you about the family business. To say that I was nervous would be the understatement of the century. <sighs> Even your big, scary mafia boyfriend gets worried sometimes especially when I'm about to expose the family secret to an outsider. So I expected you weren't on board with it at first, but then you started asking questions. You were curious and you wanted to make some changes. For an outsider to come in and start demanding changes to make our business more ethical, let's just say I was impressed. That kind of drive in the face of danger made me go, absolutely wild for you. When I think about our future, our beautiful, beautiful future together. Doll, you look at me. I'm making a promise to you right now. I promise we're going to fix up this shithole of a town. We're going to do what the government and the cops what they refuse to do. We'll get spineless crooks off the street. We'll bring in funds to rebuild everything that's broken down. And we'll run this place better than any politician could ever hope to. And after that, after all that, I'm going to spoil you rotten. <laughs> no, I mean it. I'll get you that fairy tale wedding you've always dreamed of. I'm going to find you a ring worthy of an angel. We'll have the best photographers, chefs, planners, decorators, everything you could ever need for a wedding. And it can be held wherever you want. I'm serious. Be thinking about that. Where do you want our dream wedding to be? Somewhere fancy, like Paris? Maybe a more tropical place, like Hawaii or the Bahamas? Or perhaps you want something with more history, like Rome? Anywhere you'd like, baby doll, I'll take you there. Mm. Oh my 
going to make it, Angel. We'll be on top of the world before you know it. And we're going to make the most of it. I can see our future now. Me running the family business. You staying home and taking care of our two amazing children. And they'll have your eyes, of course. And your beautiful smile. <laughs> we'll raise them right. We ain't going to let them fall down the path of a coward. Instead. With your kind heart and my knowledge of the criminal world, they'll be unstoppable. <laughs> a super villain backstory. I like to think of it as more of a underdog origin story. Kids born into a crime family, taking the reins of the business and using it to make the world a better place. Just like we're going to do. Together. Huh? You, you figured what out? <laughs> See, I told you you're a smart girl. You just played me like a damn fiddle. I love you so, so much. More than you could ever know. Come here, baby doll. Mm. Mm.